South African Reserve Bank is to protect the value of our currency. responsibility to carry out all the instruments that are part of the monetary policy in the country. experience has taught me collaboration and working as a team, especially I want to thank our governor who was the one pushing us to work harder. She'd call us at break. I was the one who liked roaming around the school, but the governor would fetch me with where I was with my friends. She'd be like, specifically, come, let's go to the meeting. Speaking in front of them was nice, but it was quite nerve-wracking. I was shy and a bit scared but I enjoyed the experience. I will be the governor of South Africa one day. Goeiemorgen, doe me lang. Sani Bonani, Mulwedi. Stay calm firstly, because all the information and research can be so overwhelming. And just because it's a lot of new concepts that we're not used to. One, why it's important for, for us, uh, or for you, to, to target inflation and why the 3 to 6% inflation target specifically? It is important for the central bank to keep the inflation rate within our target of 3 to 6% because stable inflation rates indicate a stable economy where prices are not increasing too quickly or too slowly. Teachers' research expose the learners. Um, give these learners knowledge, do not end only the, the teaching and learning in the classroom. Economics is seen as a difficult subject since they have to think critically and it challenges them. And what I've noticed is that now they know that in economics there's no wrong or right answer. We were literally preparing every single day. Looking at our graph, South Africa's trading partners are expected to experience slower growth, averaging to 2.6% in 2024 down from 2.9% in 2023. It's the fact that nobody gave up on each other. Okay, I will be governor one day. My name is Michelle Mishi, I will be your governor one day. <laughs> Why do you think it is important for the Saab to, to keep inflation expectations anchored? It is really important to anchor expectations in an economy. Um, being the Reserve Bank, uh, it, we are a credible source and People make decisions on their, how they're going to operate their businesses and how they're going to spend their money based on the interest rate decisions that we make. So we have to, be, uh, we have to make sure we take all uh, information into, uh, into consideration when we are making these decisions and anchor the expectations of consumers and businesses and ensure that they trust us to make the best decisions uh, on the interest rate based on the current state of the economy. I'd say the, the key things we, we did in sort of preparing for this competition was we got together at the beginning and we, we broke down like the question we discussed and we said, okay, we'll each split it up into certain sections and then bring together our findings. And then spending time together helps. I mean, you get to know your, your team well, who can answer what type of questions. You know, I definitely think um, I've been thinking about studying economics. Uh, it's one of my passions and this has really just reinforced that. Um, I think it's a, a wonderful subject area and just to learn more from the people at the Saab has been amazing. Get insights into, you know, the everyday workings of the bank has, has just been truly amazing. This competition has inspired me to go for what I want. So they just have to believe in themselves that they will also can do it. It was a, a great experience. I, I, I didn't even think of coming here as, as a finalist since it was our first time submitting an essay. We took our pens and papers, what we have, and wrote our presentation. We all took our first flight this year. It was our first time in a flight and first time sleeping in a hotel. So this competition has really upgraded us and has shown us who we really are. And prepare guys, prepare a lot, thoroughly. Just come, prepare yourself, enjoy, come down. There's nice food, 
we knew that the end goal was to make it to this point and we did. Taking into account inflation developments in the US, the MPC has decided to keep the repurchase rate unchanged at 8.25%. Three members of the committee preferred to keep it unchanged and one member preferred to decrease it. They literally became my best friends within the time of the preparation and I'm really grateful for that opportunity. I would say what makes a good team is the ability to listen to what your other team members say. It was definitely, we didn't have to stress that much and I feel like just living in the moment and experiencing it all was very really amazing. It just gave me a confidence, like I feel like I can, I can make it, I can make it man. We all dream for working for the Saab one day, I would like to be the boss. But um, yeah, it will be a great honour for us to someday work at this great institution. If you want to challenge yourself, if you don't know how you can do this, just do it. Uh, in your assessment, you mentioned that you see risks appear to be balanced, the risks, to, the risks to inflation are balanced. So I would just want to get a sense from you of so what are the main upside risks, what are the downside risks, and so, so that to see how you get to the balance. We view there to be more downside downside risks. However, the main upside risk is uh, rising food inflation due to El Nino weather patterns affecting various crops, as we have stated uh, previously in the speech, uh, as well as uh, higher high inflation expectations as well. We view those we view those as upside risks, and the downside risk are the recent improvements in the CPI, uh, the energy availability factor improving. And the steady decline in oil prices, however, they're still actually particularly volatile, but yeah, we view there to be more downside risks to inflation. The MPC has decided to keep the ripple rate unchanged at the current level of 8.25%. It is highly unwise to start cutting interest rates when inflation is way above the midpoint of our target range. I picked these guys because I saw their interest in economics. It's very valuable because uh, learners get to understand how the Reserve Bank functions. It's not a process you can rush. Um, so pick your team and start doing research from an early uh, stage. I think it started with a lot of hard work and then it was stressed all the way up until a couple of seconds ago. <laughs> But I think we can all say it was very enjoyable, it was very fun, and we definitely learned a lot. Yeah. Uh, number one, <laughs> <laughs>